Hello, this is Rochelle with NicheStoreStrategies.com and I recently created a video and wrote a post about a plugin for WordPress called CJ Wizard and it allows you to add items to your website from Commission Junction but somebody mentioned that she's been having problems with this. She's had it for a while, doesn't know how to use it so I'm going to go through the setup of this plugin. I assume you know how to install plugins and activate them, so I'm not doing that. But you want to take a look and see here, make sure that it is activated. You also want to look at what version you've got. As of this date, today is August 4th, 2011. The most up-to-date version is 2.01. If you've got an earlier version, especially if it's a version 1 point something, then click this link and go to Ben Johnson's website to go down download the latest version. Version 1 was awkward and difficult. Version 2 is a huge improvement. So make sure you've got the most recent version. Once you've got it installed and activated, you will click on Settings and CJ Wizard and this will bring you to the default settings tab which is right here. This will allow you to put your favorite settings into the plugin so you don't have to do it every time you add an item to your post which is what you had to do in version 1. This is like I said much improved. The first thing you're going to need to add is your CJ website ID. That's your Commission Junction website ID. I'm not logging into Commission Junction and doing this live because I'm just not going to share that information with you. But I took screen prints to show you what it'll look like. After you've logged in, click on the Account tab right here. And then click on Website Settings, which will take you to all of your websites. If you don't have very many, you can use the drop-down menu here and click select the website that you're using that you're installing the plug on in if however you're like me and you have more websites than you can view in this drop down you'll click the more websites available view all link then select the website that you want and that will show PID right here and this is the PID this series of numbers copy that series of numbers and paste it right here in CJ website ID. For CJ API key, well let me back up. You will need to put a unique website ID for every website that you install the plug on plug in on. That way you can track in Commission Junction which websites are converting. The CJ API key is something you get one time and then use that same key on every website. So you only do this once. I've already got mine. I don't even remember what I did because it's been a while. But Ben has kindly included this link. If you don't have it yet, click on that link. It will take you where you need to go and then click the register for a key button. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but just follow the instructions, do whatever it says to do, and uh, I think they'll both email you and maybe have it here on the website, but copy it, save it someplace safe so you can get it when you need it, and then paste that here. You don't need to save after each step, so just keep going. I use use SEO URLs. That will cloak your affiliate links, and I really recommend that you do that because you don't want uh, search engines seeing that you have affiliate links. They tend not to like affiliate links. So cloak them so it looks like it's part of your website. You can change this to whatever you want. You can make it view, you can do info, you can do go, or just as simple as A, B, or Z, whatever you want. And there will be another step that you have to do after you save all options if you are using SEO URLs and I'll get to that. If you forget it'll cause problems. Uh, keep on going down and just select whichever one of these options you like. I'll do the ones that I like. I like remove products without images so if an 
item doesn't have an image, it won't be displayed. Clean up prices, hide sale prices when equal to retail, open links in a new window. Choose the currency for the people you are targeting. If you are in the U.S. like me, then you want the U.S. dollar. If you're in the U.K., you want the Great Britain pound. And if you're elsewhere in Europe, you want the euro. So choose your type of currency. I leave this as default, the template directory name. I'm not even going to go into it because honestly I haven't ever done anything else and I'm not sure what else you would do with that. I do use list, I, I list my items in columns. I prefer it that way and I like three. You can choose two, three, four, or five. Like I said, you can override these settings when you are adding items and that is something you can override. You can display it uh, you can choose different number of items to show. It doesn't have to be three. I like to display the product name, and I'll show you what that is, right here. Tangled Rapunzel Wig Child, that's the title. Tangled Rapunzel Tiara Child title. Tangled Rapunzel Lame Deluxe Toddler Child Costume, that's the title. I also display the advertiser name so people know where they're going. And that's where what it looks like there. Seller is buycostumes.com. You can do any of these others that you like. I like to include a display button. Ben has included a buy now button and a more info button. I use the buy now. It says buy now. If I was using more info, it would instead say more info. And he has included several colors that you can use. So you can make the button correlate to your theme. So choose the button that you like if you're using that. You can display descriptions for items. I don't use this, but if you did it would be right here in this empty area. You can leave it blank to have the entire description displayed. If you only want so many characters of the description then you would put it there. Uh, if you're like me and you don't want the description displayed, then put a hyphen. If you are displaying it, you can change what this read more text says to whatever you like. I mean, you can make it click here for more, whatever. You can choose the sorting option, retail price low to high, retail price high to low, sale price low to high, sale price high to low, or random. I like random. And then down here, I love this. Ben has put this in so if you are an affiliate for a company and that's the only company you want to promote products for on your website then you would go and get the that company's advertiser ID. If you leave this blank it's going to pull products from every company on Commission Junction whether you're an affiliate or not. If you don't mind then leave it blank. If however you prefer to limit it as I do then you want to go back to your Commission Junction account click the get links button that will bring you to the companies that Commission Junction is an affiliate manager for click buy relationships so you're only seeing the companies you are uh, affiliated with and then find the company you're wanting and click the link for that company. Do not click view links, do not click view products, click the name of the company. So if it was MotherNature.com, you would click on that. It will open up, oops, you'd click on that. <clears throat> it will open up a new window with information about that company. Don't worry about any of the information. What you are looking for is up here in the URL. It says advertiser ID equals and then a series of numbers. You want to copy that series of numbers and then come here and paste it in. If you have more than one company you want to promote, so in my situation I have Halloween costumes and I know that Commission Junction has about two or three costume companies and I wanted to pull from all of them, I could add as many as I want by putting a plus and then going and getting the other advertiser IDs whatever they would be and then I would save it like that if I just want one I leave it like that so it's plus for more just like that for one and then save your options and you're done almost if you chose 
SEO URL, you are not done. If you didn't, then you are. If you are going to cloak your links, and like I said, I suggest that you do, you need to add this code right here that I've got highlighted. I mean, it'll be different for yours, but you highlight that, and you add it to the .ht access file for your site. There are a couple ways to get there. You could go through your cPanel and click on the File Manager. I like FileZilla. It's nice and easy. So I've got my account open here. There's my HT access file. I'm just going to click view and edit. I actually already have it listed. Oops. But if I didn't, I would add it here. This pound sign means whatever comes after on that same line will not be counted as code, so you can write your own notes. I like to do that so I know what the different codes are that I've added. Uh, but this right here is the important bit of information. This has to be in there. And then save the information and save it. If I had really changed anything, it would ask, do I want to save it? I would say, yes, I do. And now the plugin is ready to work. And you can add a new post and include it. I'm actually not going to go through the steps. I made another video on how to do it, but you would click that button and add what you want right here. These are settings that will override the default settings, but if you don't want to do that, then it's okay because you just added them to the default settings. And anything that is in the default, you don't have to worry about except for the product keyword, so what it is you want to promote, and then how many you want to promote. <clears throat> And I recommend very strongly that you always click on it to make sure that you did it properly. When you click on it, it should take you to whatever company you're wanting it to take people to. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to click this because I know it won't work because I don't have all of the important information in there. But if you click it and you find that it takes you to a 404 error page on your website, chances are very good that you forgot to add the code to your .ht access file. If you forgot to put in the API key for Commission Junction or you put in the wrong one or an extra character got put in, it'll have a big red note here saying uh, it's, not <clears throat> it's not validated. So it will tell you right here if, there, if there's a problem with the API code. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. But that is it. That's what you need to do to add and set up the Commission Junction Wizard plugin, and then you're good to go to start adding it to posts. I hope this has been helpful for you. This has been Rochelle with NicheStoreStrategies.com.